Hi everybody. Hey, if you were with me last summer, you remember that I did a little thing called me camp. Remember that? When I spent almost a month by myself on solo travel at Bar Harbor, Maine. Um, Remy was at camp and I had gone up there to be sort of near her. Her camp is also in Maine. Um, and then all of a sudden one day I just dubbed it. I'm like, you know what, guys, Remy's at camp and I kind of am. Like, I'm kind of a camp. This is me camp. And then thus it was and began a whole thing. Anyways, um, Remy is going back to camp, back to Maine. I am also going back to camp. However, I'm going somewhere different. Um, I decided that I, I so loved traveling by myself, going to a place where at least at one point in either the morning or the evening or both, I was going to be required to wear a sweatshirt. Um, these were my parameters. I told my assistant, Amanda, I'm like, Amanda, let's plan me camp 2022. I want north so that I, um, I need to be a little bit cool. I need to be a little bit cold actually. And if I, um, if I wanted to be hot, I would stay here in Texas. Okay. So I want that. I want water, any water. I don't care. It could be a river, a stream, a creek, an ocean, a lake. Like I don't care. Um, and then I want a little cute town like Bar Harbor, like little, I don't want to have to run a car. I want to walk everywhere or ride my little bike or whatever. And I just want it to be kind of sweet and quaint and small and slow so that by the end of my time there, I'll like know everybody there like last year. So we have planned <laughs> me camp 2022 and it's going to look like this. The first week of me camp, this is a four week deal while Remy goes back to camp. The first week I'm going to be an Aspen. Um, I'm actually wrapping that around a really cool work thing. I am one of the speakers at the Aspen Institute. Um, this is this huge gathering of thinkers and leaders and big ideas and big conversations. I'm pumped. So my uh, actual contribution there is like a one hour deal and I'm staying for a week. So I, I, I managed to stretch one hour into seven days. Um, because I love the mountains, which you know about me. So I'm like, I'd like to do one week in the mountains. So I'm going to ask them for the week, And then most of you are not even gonna know where this is. I didn't. Amanda found it for me. So first of all, I'm going to say, get excited. I'm coming to Minnesota. Okay. I have tons of you in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Tons. I'm four hours away from Minneapolis. I'm on Lake Superior in this tiny little artsy cutesy town called Grand Marais. M-A-R-A-I-S. Grand Marais. And it is the cutest. And I'm staying in a little like a cottage on the water. And then for the last two weeks of it, I, I don't even know how to explain this, but I am staying in this little apartment above a cute tavern. It's like floor to ceiling windows. It overlooks the harbor. Um, it is the most fun thing. I just don't even know what to say. It's the cutest and it's the most fun. And I am so excited. Me Camp 2022 is in Minnesota this year. So I leave June 25th. It's so fun. So you're going to want to follow me because um, I got a bunch of stuff to share with you at Me Camp. Me Camp is so fun. And it is like, it's what I've learned about solo traveling. It is how I connect with all the people in the little town. Um, it is what it, it's kind of what it means to fill the days like with my own thoughts and my own dreams and my own work. And uh, it's just so much fun. Plus we're gonna have some goodies for you. So um, me camp is on the books. Now, some of you guys after last year's me camp decided to do your own this year. I know this because a billion of you have told me that. So sound off in the comments if you have decided to do any sort of me camp. Me camp can be two days long, okay? So if at, if at any point you were like, I'm gonna do a tiny little solo trip called me camp, I wanna hear all about it. Where are you going? What did you want out of it? What are you hoping to experience? What are you looking forward to? Um, this is the most fun thing of the summer by a mile. So, Grand Marais, coming in hot.
cannot wait. You guys, um, if you've never heard about Grand Marais, well, guess what? You're about to know everything there is to know about it by the end of the summer. So if you don't want to know anymore, mute me in your feed. Um, so I can't wait, you guys. Yay!